Silly so I'm playing more Nova Drift and trying a new audio setting, so we'll see how these new sound suppression filters work. <laughs> What would I like here? Dart, flak, vortex is always fun. Let's try vortex. Hmm. Shockwave shield. Sure, we can do that. Having a lower shield with a shockwave actually may not be bad because the breaking of the shield releases that damaging shockwave. Might actually be worthwhile to try a small shield run on purpose. Which means we don't want an increase in maximum shields. Quite the opposite in that. So we can just banish it? I suppose? Hmm. Passive shield regeneration. Let's try it. May end up well, may end up absolutely horribly. <laughs> Shield effect radius would be good. Shield cooldown would also be good. And just regenerative shields would be good. Yeah, we purposely want a relatively weak, easily destroyed shield, but one that regenerates very quickly as well. Orbs could be good here. Let's banish Bali. Revelation for energized shields. I like that. I very much like that. <laughs> All right, we can make use of this. And there it is. And I don't think it hurts quite as much with Vortex because it's something I usually charge and hold for a little bit before actually launching, so a little extra time holding it's not horrible. I would like Kinect Boost to get down towards emergency systems, but I also like Shield Effect Radius. Yeah, I'll go with... Yeah, I want to get down to emergency systems. That's a way of getting down towards emergency systems. Not entirely sure it's the best one for my current setup, but... It gets me moving the direction I want to go. Faster shield cooldown is definitely good. Shield 
this. Get rid of that. Shockwave, very helpful for getting rid of these projectiles. Push them around a bit, move them away from me. All that fun stuff. Alright, we can... We can work with this. <laughs> At least against weaker enemies. I am more concerned with larger, higher health pool enemies, but... We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. I would like Galvanic Outburst to be sure, but there's emergency systems, which I have been asking for. Increases regeneration rate and provides damage and collision immunity when my shields break. I think that works pretty well. And I also have a 15% shield cooldown boost already. About the only really negative thing about shockwave shields when it comes to their push effect is that they can make things a little bit harder to determine when to dodge, what direction the projectiles and enemies will take. Just take shield cooldown. Lowers my shield maximum, but then again, that's fine. I want my shield to be coming and going often. get to the lower, build back up, shockwave. Do a little extra damage. <laughs> Probably not how that is supposed to work, but... Yeah, I still have trouble doing enough damage, I think. Okay, all the inner crystals are gone. Is it finally time to get Galvanic Outburst? More shield damage resistance and shield effect power. And if I take a hit, my shield will discharge a bolt of energy in the direction that I was struck. So that's not too bad. I am somewhat concerned at how low my damage is, though. Really need something a little bit more to make this work. I should have taken that increased shield capacity after all just for the added damage I could get eventually from it. I do enjoy watching this though. Yeah, I can't kill this boss before the next wave of enemies start up. 
is not a good sign. I have decent defenses. I need better offenses. <laughs> Do better crash damage, perhaps. Yeah. And terminate. Definitely could be useful here. Finish that fight up. <laughs> but I need something more. Let's see if I chase this down. Shield effect radius up and shield effect power. Both sound good to me. Yeah, that terminate's definitely going to help a bit. I think I probably chose the wrong weapon for this combination. But what's done is done. Also, better watch my health. Getting a little low. Discharge. Don't think I need that one. Volatile shields, on the other hand. Could be what I need. Let's see, do I want wild mods? No, I don't want that one. Essence Sap, I don't think I want that one either. Adrenal Module, maybe. Or Blitz. Don't think I want that one either. Lance. No, I'm just going to start banishing, I think. Orbs are a way of doing a little more damage. if it's going to be enough. Alright, let's try breaking the shield. Did decent damage, but not enough range. The increased range of the shockwave is noticeable, however. The orbs are definitely helping a bit, just in terms of keeping a few of the smaller enemies at bay. I'm still getting overwhelmed far too easily, though. Not enough damage output. Yeah, that was not a very good successful little experiment there. I need... I guess I should research better how to build these shield break... Uh, systems. Hmm. Let's try another random experiment real quick. Nothing I intend to actually get very far, but I want to see what works. Do a pulse this time instead. Do a siphon. Stealth is probably not going to work. Let's try research again. 
I want to try something that almost certainly will not work, but I'm just curious to see what happens. There's focus fire. I'm going down towards barrage. I have no idea how that's going to actually work. There's rapid fire. Then I just need burst fire and then barrage. I'm not going to want targeting with this build. There's burst fire. Okay, so now we just look for barrage. And there it is. Now I do take uh, have slower shield and uh, health recovery. Okay, but it does work. Just hold down the fire button and constantly launch little pulses. Well, color me surprised that that actually works. So now what do I do? Get rid of efficiency because I'm not going to use it. <laughs> Greater blast radius. Admittedly, not the most effective in the world, but it's... it's something. I don't quite know if velocity affects the main pulse, but yeah, I think it does affect the little streamers. I don't think we want that one. Double tap though. Yeah, with barrage, why wouldn't you? The burst fire, I think, just becomes another increase to rate of fire, pretty much. So, sure. Snipe. Again, doesn't seem to affect my... Well, maybe it does affect my pulse.
Well, I can take Revelation and look for more. Double tap. Don't think I want Slipstream here. But there is double tap, so... Calibrate time. I'm not going to use Calibrate. Well, there's Mastery. Yeah, that double tap times three. Definitely helpful. Rupture. Could help a little bit, I suppose. Not exactly an amazing one, though. Skirmish. Again, not horribly useful. I don't want energized shields this time around. I think I'll just spend some of great points to banish them. Heavy caliber. Less rate of fire, but more projectile damage and size. Does add recoil though. I'll take one. Yeah, it slowly pushes me back, but not horribly so. Siege weaponry is a definite no. Warpath, on the other hand, I can take one warpath. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. Played far too aggressively. Still, that was interesting to see that it actually worked. Next time, I might like consider my shield a little differently and actually make a serious run with that one. A good experiment, nonetheless. As ever, thank you all for stopping by.